No. <laughs> no I, uh, being a one fish is bad enough, all right? <laughs> okay. Bye-bye. All right, bye. Kim Wilde here, and you keep me hanging on. 707. Y100, round of applause, please, for Kim Wilde. <laughs> Great song. Usually when they redo all these, you know, it's like, eh, so-so. That's great. Keep me hanging out on the old Supremes tune. Sunny and cool on a high of 70. Yes, we have jumped ahead an hour. It's 7-11, in case you didn't know. Daylight savings time is coming a little early this year for some reason. 53 degrees of Y100. Johnny Goes to Hollywood has your Hollywood report coming up. And then the latest episode of Miami Law. Right now, let's check out traffic with Captain Y. This is brought to you by, this time, Medical Arts Training Center. 441 at Pembroke Road in Hollywood. Call 989-62. Make that 6012. Captain, what's up? Well, Sonny, we got slow travel in Dade County this morning on 112, the airport expressway. Yes, who'd I point my trade I is? And who would that be, Chief Stetson? That would be uh, Michael Jackson. Amy Carter's the cover story on uh, USA Today. Maybe we can have Jimmy call up. Y100, boy, that group is so huge. Number one album right now, and of course uh, on a big tour. And I hear some of their tickets, Johnny, are going for like two hundred fifty dollars. Oh my God! Dan Marino, no, wait a minute, let's just go get Michael Jackson the phone, and we should join us next time. Maybe it was Marvin Hagler. Yeah, yeah. He was it wasn't, yeah, it wasn't me. It was Marvin Hagler. Yeah. Anyway, uh, we were yours. Yeah. You know, it's myself. Yeah. No, so they they got. Um, no, it's from when you took the memo off the wall. The person who wrote it obviously has gloves on. <laughs> Y100 Chicago's latest called If You Would Have Been Faithful. Hello there. You're on the Sunny Fox Show. It's 6.55 a.m. Thank you, Mr. Clark. That's right. In case you have yet forgotten, we're ahead an hour, so it's 6.55 right now. Sunny and cool on a high at 70. Another $5,000 to give you Thursday morning on the incredible free money birthday contest. If we call off a random month and day and it happens to be your birthday, be the first to call the studio lines. I'll give you five grand in cash. What? Just like that. You're on Florida's most listened to radio show, Sunny in the Morning. The latest sports with Athlete's Foot from the Studio B Bar and Grill. Coming up. Why do I bother cooking? I make my lasagna. Sports, here's Athlete's Foot. Tonight's the night for the 13th time. Marvin Hagler is defending his title, the one he won in 1980. Champion hasn't, champion hasn't lost since 1976. By the way, Footy, I hate to tell you this, but we just got a call this morning, and I have found out how to watch it on satellite. And it's not being scrambled on a certain Spanish Ooh, transponder. Ooh, so we're going to go over and see the fight at your house, huh? You want to, because it's in Spanish, though, but, you know. Hey, really Yeah, really. 734. <laughs> it's 53 degrees in Miami and Fort Lauderdale. That's what's happening. I'm Ron Hersey. Sunny in the morning. Good morning. Only on Y100. Miami Law, coming up next. Y100 Company B is fascinated. I like that song. Love Toy. 7.38. Is that right, Mr. Clock? It's 7.38 a.m. All right. Yes, we jumped ahead an hour in case you haven't set your clocks right. Sunny and cool at a high of 70. 53 degrees at Y100. And now, Miami Law. Oh. Stop or I'll shoot. The story of Miami's number one crime fighter, Clarence Stetson. That be me. We join our hero as he's reading one of the mystery memos that have been mysteriously appearing on the police bulletin board. Oh, Chief Stetson. Now, what is it, Mr. Mina? Can't you see I'm reading my mystery memo? Sorry, sir. It's about that dusting that you ordered. My office looks perfectly clean to me. No, sir. It has to do with what you have in your hand right now. My goodness, how does you know what I got in my hand? You're on the telephone. Sir, I'm referring to the mystery memo. Oh, my left hand, you mean. Uh, you ordered it dusted for fingerprints, sir, and, well, the only prints we have been able to find belong to you. Oh, no, I did it. Now I was going to have to arrest myself. Oh, and read me my rights. I has the right to remain silent. Everything I does will be held against me. Oh. No, sir. Your prints appeared when you removed the memo from the bulletin board. Obviously, the culprit was wearing gloves. Hmm, then I say it's obvious who the perpetrator is. And who would that be, Chief Stetson? That would be uh, Michael Jackson. Well, what's going to happen with the mystery memos? Join us next time when we hear Chief Stetson say, Hmm, Marvin Hagler wears a pair of gloves, too. Stay tuned. We'll let you know what happens. Right now, here's traffic once again.